What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. And I know y'all haven't seen this handsome face in days, but I've just been chilling, relaxing. Uh, like I said before, doing YouTube videos is a hobby. It's like a pastime for me. This is not a job. So I can take time off, little sabbaticals here and there, and it doesn't bother me, not one bit. Um, I know my true loyal hardcore subscribers may be wondering what's been going on. Nothing's been going on. I'm not sick or anything like that. I just work a lot during the week and I don't have time like I used to to come home from my day job, do a video, and then go to my other job. I don't have that time gap in between. I get off at four. I have to be there at five. So there's no shucking and jiving going on here. And the only time I really get to do videos is on the weekend. Yesterday, I spent time with my kids, so therefore, today is the only day I actually have just to parlay and lay around, so I decided to do a video, and actually, I was just talking to a subscriber that lives in London, and he actually asked me, was everything okay, and we had a conversation, and that was about it, so that is why I actually jumped up to do this video, because there are people who actually really do care about my well-being so shout out to you um you know there's been a bunch of unfortunate events going on a lot of unarmed killing of black people and the thing that's going on in minnesota um it's terrible it's horrific um one of the cases the ahmaud aubrey case that's going on that actually happened right here where i live that's here. Yes, that is here in Brunswick, Georgia, where I live. It happened here. I didn't know this young man. I have seen him around before, but I didn't know him personally. So that was a very tragic and unfortunate event. A uh, lot of protesting going on, but it's not like it's like what's going on in um, Minnesota. It's not happening like that here. It's very peaceful here. Um, people are being respectful and being mindful of what's going on. So uh, just know that tension is high here, but it's not like it is up north. And and one other tragic event that I just watched a few minutes ago is George Zaharoff shaving off his beard, which was pretty funny, I thought. Um, George, you don't have anything to be self-conscious about. You're still a handsome gentleman with or without the beard. Uh, it doesn't affect who you are as a person. And shout out to George Zaharoff. With that being said, <clears throat> I went yesterday to go see my kids, and um, they live like 45 minutes from me, which is not far, Savannah, Georgia, and um, while I was there, I usually like to stop at their TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff, because they have way more stores than we have here. Here, we have one Ross, one TJ Maxx, we have one Bells that really hardly ever sells anything decent. Um... And that's about it. We do have a Belks, but the mall isn't open yet, I don't think. So we can't go there. I'm not sure about Ulta. Ulta may be open. I'm not totally sure. But I don't frequent them much either because they're expensive. But um, I like to go to the one in Jacksonville and Savannah <clears throat> because they have more TJ Maxx's and more Marshall's, even though they're like scattered out all over the city. So one particular area that I stopped at they have a Marshalls and a TJ Maxx, and and they also have a um what's the other store? I didn't go in that one. They just they just built it. I just can't remember what the name of it was. Um, anyway, I don't really frequent that store, but um, I stopped at TJ Maxx first, and what I picked up at TJ Maxx, I've been seeing these for a long time. I never was able to get my hands on them. I just thought that when I saw them, I was like, oh, that's the TJ Maxx specials. That's what I call them. Um, the fragrances that you see just sitting on the shelf with no case on them, <clears throat> no protective uh, security case on them. They just put a little sticker on them and sit them on the shelf. These actually are EDP concentration and they smell to me. They smell fantastic. I could never find one with the actual top on it. 
And this one is called Emerge. And I know not a lot of people are going to care about these fragrances because they're more into having actual um, Blue Day Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Creed Aventis. They care more about the name brand than they do, you know, what's inside. Some of these fragrances are actually pretty good. This one smells pretty nice. It has like a vetiver type feel to it. It's not a strong, aggressive vetiver. I need to look the note breakdowns up on this. I didn't want to do that in this video because this is just to show my face, let you know I'm still here, and what I picked up kind of video. So this smells fantastic to me. And being an EDP, I'm looking forward to wearing this one. I may just wear it tomorrow just to see what kind of performance I get out of this. I like this fragrance a lot, but this is not the one I was actually looking for. They have one that actually smells more fantastic than this and it kind of gives me like that blue day chanel um uh, not blue day chanel i'm sorry ysl lanui de Lome type feel that peppery kind of cool weather smell that heavy kind of deal um but every time i find it either the atomizer is off and the plastic stem underneath is all warped and bent or it just doesn't have the atomizer at all and luckily i found this one uh, make sure also when if you're going to the to the rack stores you check the clearance section because the one particular tj maxx that i went to their fragrances are just outside of where the checkout lines are um, they move all of the fragrances from there and they put them in another area like closer to the back on a clearance rack. Um, and that's where I found all of their fragrances. And everything had red tags on them. So they marked them down as clearance just to get rid of them. But this one was already cheap. It was like $12.99. And so I actually like this. This pretty good atomizer. Smells clean, fresh. Like I said, it has almost like a vetiver vibe to it. I'm um, not totally sure what the notes are, but I will look them up when I do an actual review on it. But not bad. And then the other one I picked up from the same TJ Maxx is this. And I wasn't sure what this was, being that it was in the men's section. I just assumed that it was a men's fragrance. I couldn't even really read the name on this thing. It just says Center. And the name I couldn't read. So I said, you know what? It's EDP, as you can see right here, it says Eau de Parfum. I'm sorry if y'all really can't see it, but that's what it says. And when I got in the car, after I purchased it, this was like 12, 13 bucks, something like that with tax. Um, I looked it up and this actually says Kat Von D, which is a tattoo artist. And when I pulled this out of the box, just to give you a little bit of presentation on it. The box is black. Silver writing on it. But the inside is red. Which gives it a classy touch. But this bottle. Is what gave it away as being a. And I sprayed it on here. What gave it away as being a woman's fragrance. This bottle is fantastic. Look at that. It is see through. The top. And it doesn't snap in the place. It's just a snug fit. Very tight. Atomizer. You can control the spray. But. For a woman's fragrance. I like this. It's citrusy up top. I think it's like Mandarin. And some other stuff in it. I did look the notes up on this. It smells fantastic. This is not one of those overly aggressive. Women's fragrances. But. I did promise this to a young lady last night who just started doing reviews not too long ago. And I told her that she can have this one and review it. And if she didn't like it, she can keep it. But more than likely, she'll probably keep it because the bottle looks fantastic. But I don't really care. Um, very nice fragrance. Now, if she doesn't like it, I told her she can send it back and I'll just find somebody else to send it to. But um, with that being said... Um, Kat Van, 
Kat Von D Center is the name of the fragrance. And then I stopped at Marshall's, which was a few stores down. They didn't have much of anything. And I did talk to one of the young ladies and she's saying that they were actually having a hard time finding drivers to come back with all this stuff going on, which is why they're not really getting a lot of stock. And this is just what's coming from the lady that I talked to now. I don't shoot the messenger. I, I'm not the one. I'm just relaying the message. This is what she said. Now, if there's something else going on, I don't know. But this is what she said. She just said that they're having a hard time getting the drivers to come back. Um, a lot of drivers are still not working. Um, and it's hard to get inventory in. So whatever else is going on, I don't know. But that's just the conversation that I had with a young lady. So I went back and I looked and I ran across this one. And I've had this before when the hype was real and people were out talking about finding these. And I wasn't impressed. I got rid of both of mine. I had this one and I had the blue version. But this is from the house of Abercrombie and Fitch. This is First Instinct Extreme. And this is also EDP or Eau de Parfum. And to me, it smells the same. Um, it's just a stronger concentration, I'm assuming. I am going to give this a wearing, but if I don't feel like this is performing like I want it to, it will be up for grab. So stay tuned for that. If you're looking for this particular fragrance, then I have it. But just wait on me to do the review and see if I like it or not. And then message me on it. Um, this one, I think, was marked down and it was, I want to say 17 and some change. It was like... 15 something it came up to like 16 dollars and some change i think it was which wasn't bad for this because these you were finding these for like 25 30 35 dollars at the time so um i did find this one and it's okay it's not a wow type fragrance to me but it's decent but we'll see so that's pretty much what all i've been having going on with me uh, just been relaxing, working, um, trying to stay out of harm's way when it comes to all this foolishness going on in the world. But uh, once again, big shout out to George Zaharoff. He shaved his beard off. He's He uh, actually used his new line of uh, shave products, which look fantastic, I might add. So shout out to George Zaharoff once again. Um, that's about it, y'all. Uh, if I can come up with another video idea later, I'll do something. But as of right now, I'm just chilling, y'all. Um, stay tuned also over on Sam Broom's channel tonight at seven. If things go as planned, we're still going to do our live stream. Last weekend went fantastic. I love the energy. Uh, for the most part, I love the energy, but, um, Hopefully we can get that, keep that same energy again tonight. So tune in once again, Sam Broom. Check his channel out at 7 p.m. And if you want to join in the live stream, feel free. Please, no negativity because you will be blocked if you come in with that foolishness. Trust me. So with that being said, I am out of here, y'all. Here is Two Smelling Great. Peace.